Hey guys, I'm Kibushin, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bell-like percussive sound using Zen Add Sub Effects. Just a forewarning, this does require a basic knowledge of Zen, so if you don't know what Zen is, then you should probably look at my other tutorials, because I'm not really going to explain every single thing I do. So right here I just have a, come back, I have a, just an empty Zen patch. It's just your typical sine wave. Um, I'm just going to take it up two octaves just for ease of this thing. You don't need to change anything else here. This pops up every time, even though I am like advanced, I know how to use this. Go to edit instrument. Uh, we're going to use pad synth for this. Just do edit. Um, all this stuff with the harmonic distribution, you don't have to worry about that. So just hit discrete. And then you can change it to one sample, an octave, and then one octave, because you don't really need anything super big. If you hit apply changes, it's just it's just like this really weird stereo phasing sign. Um, we're gonna be using a saw wave, so just hit power. I like to throw some other harmonics into there just um, to make it sound more like a bell. This is really just like up to you to choose random things. I'm going to stick with that. So that sounds kind of funky now. Um, take attack value all the way up because we're going to give it a frequency envelope. So then turn center frequency down so it should kind of have a plucky sort of sound. You can just turn the, the resonance or the Q down. Um, and the other thing is we're going to mess around with the volume envelope. So now I have that weird sort of thing. And the last thing to mess around with is the actual harmonics. Um, change overtones to sign. You can use any of these, but I prefer sign just because of what it does to these. They're dancing. Anyway. So you're going to want to turn force harmonic up a little bit because if you don't, some of the sounds can sound absolutely horrid. And if you turn it up all the way, however, it aligns every single thing to harmonic and then it may just sound like some sort of weird additive synth. So if you turn it to like the O or something, it should be good, but mess around, find what you like. Um, and now you can just start tweaking knobs. Oh. I'll do that. Sounds okay. I'm going to add in a bit more of these higher harmonics just because bells are really. Um, see what happens if I do that. I like the sound of that a lot more. So a low pass filter one if you want. Also something else is you can uncheck stereo to make it a mono sound. Which may fit better in your mix. Um, but for the purpose of this it sounds cool in stereo for now so I'm going to leave it. Um, it's really quiet so you can crank it up to like 100 or something. Um, and as far as that goes really it's just these knobs. You can get different effects with different things. But yeah, I personally like sign. And if it ever like if it's hard to tell what note it is, just turn force harmonic up more. So yeah, there's a funny little bell thing. You can throw EQ on it, you can throw reverb on it, you can do all so sorts of stuff. Oops. And yeah. Ah. So that can sound cool, but oh, it slipped. Um, yeah, so 
yeah, that's how you can make bell sounds in Zen. So enjoy your bell making, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs>